VMAs, VMAs, VMAs. Everything you guys need to know about the VMAs in literally five minutes. <clears throat> hey guys, it's Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at it again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my TikTok. And let's get straight into this video. That's the police, probably on the way to go and find that fight that took place at the VMAs, guys, because we've got a lot to get into when it comes to this. So, VMAs, I watched it last night, and I'm gonna give you a quick five minute review of everything that had taken place. Chloe Bailey absolutely bodied her performance. I think her perf just the energy that she was giving, the choreo that she was giving. <laughs> The face, everything about her in general, I liked a lot. And I do feel like she just performed really well. She ended up crying backstage as well. It was her first time performing this new song of hers. You have to excel well, especially if it's a new song. You were solo for the first time. Her sister introduced her. I just think it was done tremendously well. So hats off to her. Normani also came through thick and thin. And the fact that she was demanding to perform there when they should have asked in the first place. Her footwork is insane. The choreo is insane like the way she grabbed into the girl reminded me of janet jackson a little bit for what she used to do on tour i think it was beautiful guys we also didn't end up having a backstage fight between machine gun kelly and um, conor mcgregor i don't know why conor's doing this I, I do feel like this fight was fake they both might have been paid to do this because you need some kind of controversy at, a, uh, at the vmas especially when you know the ratings are dwindling um to cause some kind of conversation so but conor's a bit weird so maybe it was real but I doubt it was to be. To me, it didn't seem like it was. But I can I can see it being fake, in all honesty. But that whole fight took place as well. And you've seen the crowds, they seem very weirded, weirded out by it as well. Just Bieber, I think, won many awards as well. Doja Cat obviously was hosting. She did a great job. And I think her performance was very good when she was in the sky or, you know, or between like a little hoop going round. I think it was very intriguing. But I think her hosting skills were good because she has the personality, the looks, and the voice. She is literally the full package. Doja Cat has progressed so much in the last year, it is insane. The full package, guys. When it comes to some of the red carpet looks, I feel like Megan, can we look at Megan Fox, please? And how beautiful this outfit is. She actually came to do what she needed to do, guys. I just, I'm absolutely in love with this outfit. The wet hair look as well, the heels. Oh, this is just beautiful. Lil Nas coming through Purple Rain at this damn point. I like this outfit. I'm not sure about it draping though. We could have left that out. I do like the hair um, and the kind of shoulder length. And I love the color on him. The drape, I don't, I'm not sure about. Um, we then also have Normani. A lot of people actually don't like this, but I'm in love with this outfit. I think she looks good here. I do like the fact that it's just very different to what we've seen on. And I think it's like the fact that it's white, but so many different stripes. And you know, the way it's placed so differently on her from her collar to you know her arms to how it's falling on her legs and I'm glad that she went with white shoes as well. I've got a phone call guys and we come back. I also have um, Olivia Rodrigo. I love this color on her. I think it suits her. I love the hair and the earrings. It all just kind of matches, especially the lipstick. I feel like it's a very clean, simple look and I'm here for it. We then have um, Camila Cabello, similar to um, Olivia with the color shade. I think the ribbon is just a little bit too big in all honesty, um, but I do feel like her hair and her face looks good as well. Um, Avril Lavigne, this girl does not age in the slightest. She just simply does not age. I feel like I like the outfit, but at the same time, I don't know about the fact that it's just kind of like gray, silverish with the whole bra situation going on and then the bag doesn't really match it anyways, it, but it's giving you that kind of punk rock and that's what she's always known for. So I can see what she's trying to do, but the girl does not age at all. We then have Doja Cat. I actually love this outfit. I love the necklace, the eyeshadow, the hair color, the nails, the knee, like knee high boots. Like it's just honestly, Amazing. Her and Tanashi look quite similar as if they're in sisters and like some as if they're like vampire sisters. Like I'm so here for um Tanashi's outfit as well. But she's the mid like it's just all they both just work so well together. It's insane. I would love to see these two collaborate. I would love to see Tanashi perform. Big fan of her as well. But I feel like you know we had, we had other performers, Lil Nas. I feel like he did amazing as well. The choreo he broke down into, him with Jack Harlow, the pinkness of it all. I feel like he's giving what the girls are giving as well. 
and I'm very much here for that very much here for it but i don't see the vmas doing that well ratings wise they are declining each year guys but hopefully doja cat could have boosted it and we'll just see what happens britney also announced that she's engaged the queen of the vma so announced it on the day of the vmas is hilarious i wish she went on stage to just announce it that would be so funny but yeah let me know your thoughts are guys you know the main topics of the vmas within five minutes subscribe to the channel click that button and i'll catch you guys soon for another video